Is this microphone on? Because if it is, I want to thank you all for joining me for another episode of Black Doctor Phil! Now, fun fact, but this is the first episode since January 2nd of 2020. Before the pandemic even started. Speaking about the pandemic, since the first episode, my next guest has released his first EP. If I believe, he released his second EP. I he released the home concert during the pandemic. We're a boomerang. I'm sending you love and you're sending me love right back, baby girl. We're a boomerang. And a lot more in between. Yet. He tells me that he's just getting started. Now, I'm both surprised and not surprised that I'm here again. Because to be quite frank, this was one of the most successful series on the channel, right? The most coveted, right? <laughs> so it only makes sense for me to be back. Now, the rumor is that every single episode of Black Dr. Phil is not available to watch on YouTube anymore. And there's only one person to blame for that. And he's been my guest twice on the 10 episode series run of Black Dr. Phil. And I have questions for him. Can any of you guess who he is? Black Dr. Phil! No, not, not him. It's willpower. So without further ado, we need to have another sit down with the man, third time's the charm. Put your hands together for willpower. <laughs> are you looking at me like that? Looking at you like what? Uh, like you're going down memory lane. Uh, because I am going down memory lane. Well, when you're done going down memory lane, could you maybe try going up memory lane? <laughs> Man, who wrote this script? You know, I need to speak to the writer of this episode. <laughs> Well, speaking of memory lane, you and I, we sat down together for the first time in 2015 for the first interview, almost a decade ago. Uh, what would you say is the biggest difference between willpower from 2015 and willpower now? Well, I think the main big difference is that I'm more experienced and skilled in my craft now. But, you know, there's still a lot more I want to get done. And every day I'm learning something new. Every day you're learning something new? Wow. <laughs> Well, tell me something you learned today, then. Well, I, uh, I learned that Black Dr. Phil is back on the Willpower YouTube channel. You know? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> we back, baby. We back, baby. We back, baby. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. Long time no see, brother. <laughs> Black Doctor Phil. Black Doctor Phil. If you got problems, you need to solve them. You've got Black Doctor Phil. Whether you're stuck in your thoughts or addicted to pills, don't be ashamed. If you know my name, just call Black Doctor Phil. Black Doctor Phil. Black Doctor Phil. Phil. Just bring your problems to me. I'll make it a guarantee to help you out through stormy weather. Your life is bad. I'll make it better. Don't worry about it. I'm about about it. I'm about to change your life. Well, before we move any further, I, I would like to talk about the elephant in the room. Elephant in the room? I, I don't understand. What elephant in the room? That elephant in the room, right there. That one. You see it? You see it now? You see that elephant? Yeah, I, I can see that now there is an elephant in the room, yes. So then let's discuss it. Over the course of your YouTube journey, you racked up over 200 million views in total. But now most of those views are gone because the videos are deleted. 
Can you explain to me why the videos are deleted? Well, first of all, the videos aren't deleted. You know, they're just on private. You know, I think that's a big difference. And throughout my YouTube journey, for the most part, I didn't know who I was. I didn't know who I was as a creator. I didn't know who I was as an entertainer. I didn't know who I was as an artist. And I didn't know how to bring who I was to the video platform. Uh, therefore, I experimented and I experimented quite a bit. And it wasn't until I discovered who I was many years later that I decided that, okay, now, now that I know who I am, I can just focus on this here. And I had to eventually distance myself from what wasn't serving my future goals. So you are now mainly focused on music and acting. Well, that was my main focus from the beginning. However, at one point YouTube came in and it allowed me to experiment with different content as I was honing my craft. What advice would you give to someone who wants to start YouTube or wants to become a content creator? I would say find out what you love doing and then film yourself doing it. Well, I love talking to myself. Should I film myself doing that? <laughs> uh, well, I personally wouldn't watch someone do that <laughs> on or off camera. But if that's what you feel called to do, then do it. You know, don't let me or anyone try to convince you otherwise. Don't let me try to convince you otherwise. Hey, don't copy him. Wait, wait, no, don't you do, don't you, don't you interrupt me, sir. Please don't do that. <laughs> ask him another YouTube question. Oh, that's a good idea. What question should I ask him? Ask him for more YouTube advice. Oh, yes. Okay, I will. What other YouTube advice would you give to someone who wants to start YouTube? Bruh. Um, I would say that all views aren't equal. I think it's more beneficial to get 10,000 views from the right people than a million views from the wrong people. And who are the wrong people? Um, anyone who wants you to be or do something that you're not. Or that you're not anymore. But it probably wasn't easy to walk away from the views and the money from the other content, right? It wasn't easy per se, but I, I was confident in my decision then and I'm still confident in my decision now. I think that now that I have the skills to really make better art, I, I feel like the best is yet to come and nothing I've done in the past is up to par with what I'm doing now or what's to come, wink wink. But I will say this, never say never. I never said never, did I? Is there any possibility that your old videos could be made public again for people who want to rewatch them? Uh, well, we're working on that. You know, that's all I can say for now is that we're working on So it. you have released two EPs so far. You've been featured on a few remixes. You have written and produced for other artists. Now, when can we expect new music from you? Well, I am currently working on my third EP and my debut album. Fingers crossed they come out this year, you know? Well, what would it take to guarantee that that happens this year? Uh, well, quite frankly, a whole lot of money. <laughs> well, best of luck to you, brother. I'm sure you'll find the funding for that. And I, uh, I have another question for you. This whole interview, you've had questions for me. I have another question for you. I'm listening. Look, I know that every episode of Black Dr. Phil is unavailable right now, and that hurts me. <laughs> But my question is, could you maybe do a reaction video to every episode, kind of like you did with the Who's Better series? Well, yeah, of course I can do that. Uh, really? Yes, of course. And I don't know, maybe I have that video in the vault already? Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. How do I know you won't delete this video or the next videos? Well, because the craftsmanship of the new content is at a higher level now, and it's at a level that's more professional and marketable. And I think we can build on top of this new brand of material. What, what advice would you give to anyone watching this right now who might be struggling in different areas in life? Well, I would, I would say to just keep on keeping on. You know, there's a lot of dark things happening in the world. There's a lot of ups and downs. Throughout your journey, you will experience loss, you will experience grief, you will experience tragedy. You know, I, I walked away from a lot of money. I walked away from a lot of things that weren't good for me. I lost a lot of people along the way. And at some point, you know, sometimes I felt like giving up, but I didn't, you know, and I stayed the course and I kept showing up even on the days where I really sometimes didn't feel strong enough, but I kept doing that. And, you know, when you find something that you love and you love what you do, which is with me, I love making music, I love creating art, that's something I want to do for the rest of my life. That love is so strong that you want to you keep fighting for it, you want to keep showing up for it, you want to 
stay patient. That's why I've always said where there's a will, there's a way. I truly believe that and I live that. And I also believe that there's always a way with willpower. And you know, sometimes we are not seeing the results as fast as we want. But I also believe that the day you plant the seed is not the day you're gonna eat the fruit. So, you know, when you're not seeing the results, just stay patient, stay the course, and one day what's meant for you will be yours. So in this life filled with unexpected and surprise events, what can we really expect from willpower moving forward? Well, my own creativity surprises me, to be honest. And I didn't think I'd be back here, back on this show, but here I am, a familiar face in a familiar place. And I have a feeling this isn't the only familiar place we're gonna see your face in, right, Will? <laughs> right? <laughs> I cannot confirm or deny that statement, sir. Hey, 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 don't call me sir. But Black Dr. Phil, don't I... Don't you Black Dr. Phil me, Will? Oh! Man, that felt so good. I didn't do that in years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, whose fault is that? Um, I I'm pretty sure that's your fault. <laughs> You know, back in the day, our episodes used to be like 10 minutes or longer, you know? But I have a feeling that attention spans are so bad these days, we should probably just wrap up this episode right now, wouldn't you think? Wait, 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 what do you mean? <laughs> People are making three-hour movies now. Oh, they are? <laughs> Name one. Killers of the Flower Moon was like three hours and a half, and I saw it in theaters. And did you watch the whole thing? Yes! So you didn't get up to pee, not once, throughout the entirety of a three and a half hour long movie, is that what you're telling me? <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, I did, once, like three hours into the movie. Aha! So you didn't watch the whole thing, because when you went to the bathroom, you missed some stuff. <laughs> Let me guess, you bought some snacks too? You bought some snacks, didn't you? Uh, yes, I did. I bought a large popcorn and a large drink, which I finished quite soon after the movie began. I hate it when that happens! I hate that! I hate it when that happens so much. <laughs> Well, it looks like my time here has come to an end. I think I'm gonna go work on my music and some new YouTube videos. Wait, 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 are you, are you gonna release the episode I did with Donald Trump? Oh, what? That was supposed to be a surprise. It was? Now I'm no rapper, I ain't notice, and I ain't notice you, you noticing, noticing me. me.